and welcome back to Educator.com and this series on AP Computer Science. Today's topic is the Grid World Case Study. The Grid World Case Study is an important part of the AP Computer Science curriculum and something that you definitely need to understand in order to do your best on the AP exam. In this lesson, we'll first look at an overview of Grid World and then we'll look at the various classes and interface that comprise the Grid World case study. These are the Location class, the Grid interface, the Actor class, the Flower class, the Rock class, the Bug and Box Bug classes, and the Critter and Chameleon Critter classes. First of all, what is Grid World? The creator of the Grid World case study describes it as a graphical environment where visual objects inhabit and interact in a two dimensional grid. You can download the code for the Grid World projects from the College Board AP Central website. You can just do a search on your computer for College Board AP Central and then once you're there go to computer science and look at the resources that are available and you can download all the code that you need to be able to build the AP computer science grid world projects uh, you can install the case study code you can compile and run the projects and they should run using any standard Java implementation on any supported platform so whether you're studying Java on a Windows PC, a Mac, or Linux machine, or any platform that has a Java system supported on it, you should be able to compile and run the Grid World projects. Uh, because the source code is included for some of the classes, you can make modifications to the code, run the modified code, and test if the behavior changes in the way that you expect it to as a result of the changes that you made to the code. One note of caution, if you're using materials other than this course to augment your study for the AP Computer Science exam, be careful that you're studying the current case study, which is Grid World. Some materials that may still be available online and some books that were published before Grid World became the current case study may refer to the previous case study which is known as the marine biology case study. And unfortunately studying the marine biology case study won't help you for the AP exam because uh, that is no longer tested on the exam. Grid World is the current case study so you need to be sure, certain that that is the case study that you are spending your time studying. The Grid World case study is an important part of the AP exam in computer science. Typically, you're going to see five or six of the 40 multiple choice questions on the exam that will be about the Grid World case study. Also, one of the four free response questions on the exam will be about Grid World. So, it will be difficult for you to get a five on the exam, which of course is what everyone would most like to get, without having a good understanding of Grid World. Uh, the benefit of the Grid World case study is it provides a way for the AP exam to test your knowledge of concepts such as subclasses, superclasses, inheritance, and polymorphism without requiring you to write an excessive amount of code during the test. If you had to write code from scratch that tested some of these more advanced concepts, you would have to write a significant amount of code. And they've provided you with a significant body of code already in the case study code, in the classes specifically that, that they've provided you the source code for, that they can ask you questions about modifying the existing code and test, therefore test your knowledge of some of these advanced concepts without having, you to, having to have you write a lot of code from scratch. It also allows them to write multiple choice questions about the case study without having you 
uh, have to write any code for the multiple choice questions. They would simply provide you with a scenario and ask which of the five answers would be the correct answer in that scenario. So you need to understand grid world, but fortunately you don't have to memorize everything about it because when you arrive to take your AP exam, along with the test booklet, you'll be provided a quick reference guide. And the quick reference guide contains the grid world code for the classes that they provide the code for and the APIs for the other classes that they don't provide you all the source code for, as well as the other standard classes that are in the AP Java subset. So you don't need to do all of this from, from memory. That being said, you do need to be very familiar with Grid World before the AP exam. The exam time, which is an hour and 15 minutes for the multiple choice questions and an hour and 45 minutes for the free response questions, that time is going to go by very fast, much faster than you anticipate. And you cannot afford to take your valuable exam time learning how Grid World works. You have to go in there with a very good understanding of how it works. And the quick reference guide is there to provide you with information that you can quickly refer to to confirm your memory of how things work and just confirm that, that the code that you're writing or the answers that you're choosing for the multiple choice questions are correct according to the published APIs and the published code. So the quick reference guide will contain what are known as the testable APIs and the testable code for grid world. And on uh, later slides in this lesson, we'll look at the testable APIs and testable code and see what, what those are. In addition to the code and the, uh, the code for building the Java projects, you can also download a student manual for the grid world case study from the same location at the College Board AP Central website. So I would encourage you to go to that website. Again, do a search on College Board AP Central. Once you're there, select Computer Science as the subject of the AP exam. And just browse around and see what information you can find there. You may also find other information on the internet about uh, sample test questions from previous years or other tips and information on preparing for the exam that you may decide to use as a supplement to the other information that you're using to help you prepare for the exam. So let's first talk about the testable APIs. And APIs are application programming interfaces. And these are the methods and constructors that are in the classes for which you are not given the source code. These are the classes that you need to understand how to use, specifically how to use the public constructors and methods, but you're not provided the source code. So you don't have the internals of how all of these things work. Um, so you will not be asked questions about modifying the behavior of these classes because uh, you don't have the source code to modify. So the testable APIs are the grid interface and then the classes location, actor, rock, and flower. And these are kind of the, the more fundamental classes. The grid interface and the location are used throughout the case study. Actor is a class from which many classes uh, are subclassed and then rock and flower are subclasses of actor that have very basic behavior. Uh, 